Hey everyone, Mechanical Nightmare Fox, MNF here, and welcome back to A Way Out. And here I have Wolfric with me. Hello. So in today's video, we'll be doing a little bit of an achievement guide. So for anybody who has played this game or has yet to play this game and is wondering where and how to get the achievements, Wolfric and I will be explaining those and showing those off in today's video to give you a guide on how to get these achievements. So without further ado, Wolfric will show you how to and explain to you how to get the first achievement here yeah so the first achievement that you have to do is called the dip which means that you have to go to an exercise thing and try to beat the record for how many dips you can do on that exercise machine now what you have to do is that you have to go all the way over here to this very far area where it shows a guy doing some pull-ups yeah. and like uh, you point. you can uh talk to them if you want just see what's going on i mean has this guy done 10 but his record's 19. that's it it's way tougher than it looks man why don't you give it a try smart ass i could easily do 20 without breaking a sweat yeah sure i'd love to see that i'm sure you would but this guy if he sees me pull that off it'll break his spirit trust me don't worry about him just do your 20. all right don't say i didn't warn you though all right now it's time for me to do it you ready? Yep. <laughs> it gets harder and harder the more you press it. Fourteen. Come on, one more. There we go. Who's the man? I told you. Didn't even break a sweat. Good luck. Seriously? And that's okay, how you get the first Nobody achievement. They pulled 20. God damn it. Come on. Well, there we go. That's how you get the first achievement. All right, everyone. So this is where the next achievement is. So once you get to this area, this is essentially the warden's office. So once you're here, this achievement is called freedom. And what that means, if you go outside here, you'll see that there's a little cage with a bird in it. So if you let there the you go, cage open and you let the bird out, after the cutscene has finished playing, then you will get the achievement called Freedom. And that's how to get this achievement. Okay, everyone, now it's time for the next achievement where this one's called Take a Breather. This is where you escape the police and you, where you have to go is that you have to go all the way to the right over here. You really go fully right down this path over here. And then we should come across down here. Jump across here. And then we're, me and Mecha both has to sit down right here on these rocks. Now you're gonna have to wait a little bit. It's gonna do a cutscene. And you can see the horizon in the distance while we're just sitting down. Of course, you he start hearing voices in the background somewhere. And once we get back up, it's when we actually get the get achievement. It. What was it? Not sure. It sounded like two boys. Maybe it's a couple of friends that are out camping. Why are you so sure they're friends? They could be brothers, too. Yeah. They actually sound like brothers. All right, and then that's when we get the achievement. All right, everyone. So this is the next achievement. It's called In Sync. So what Wolfric and I have to do, one of us has to be on piano. Vincent and the other one has to be on banjo which is Leo and what we have to do is that we have to be in rhythm in order for this achievement to work we're gonna do easy yes nice
And once you do the rhythm, Ready? you get this cutscene. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, all right. Yeah, come on, Vincent. Oh, you're good. Yeah, this sounds good, man. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice. Didn't know you had it in you. What can I say? I'm full of surprises and mostly good ones. I can. And once and once that's over, you'll get the achievement called In Sync. Okay, so this next achievement is called Take It for a Spin, and this has to be specifically for Leo because you know he's afraid of heights. So what you have to do is that after you are outside the house in the front area, you go over here to this windmill right here, and you have to uh, get on it. So pretty much you climb the ladder. Oh shit, this is getting pretty high. Okay. Why the and hell right I after here? you do that, you just come over here to Why the fan and press X. Thing. You'll have it, you'll spin the windmill faster, for a little bit. Faster. Until you get the achievement. Should do like a little animation cut of when it's achieved. There we go. And then after that, you get the achievement. All right, this next achievement is called Timeless Treasure. So what we have to do, you know, we have to be back in the house and you see this clock here? Wolfric and I have to pull this at the same time. All right, let's go. Yep. Three, right. two, one. There we go. Yep. And with that, it opened a secret area and when that happens you get this little room here and when you open this chest you get a little bit of a Zelda reference. And after that happens, you should get the achievement called Timeless Treasure. Okay, every pony, time for the next achievement, and that is Home Run. So what we have to do is that we have to try to hit the ball a certain distance to make a home run. It has to go over 180 or more for this home run to work. So you have to throw it just right, and I have to swing it just right. And it has to be your Vincent, the one throwing the ball, and me hitting it, or it won't count. Are you we can, ready? You can also do this vice versa as well. Yes. Good hit. I did 185, so that would have actually counted as a home run. Okay, so for this next achievement, guys, it's called No Cheating. So what you have to do could be either me or Wolfric, doesn't matter who. We have to go and talk to this woman, figure out what she wants. You look upset. Oh, I am. I'm waiting for my goddamn husband. I'm gonna beat his ass. Have you seen him? So why are you gonna beat his ass? He's been cheating on me, and nobody cheats on Martha. Are you absolutely sure you did that? Of course I'm sure. I can smell when people are cheating on me. That's quite a talent, ma'am. So after you talk to this woman who she thinks supposedly her husband is cheating, we have to find the right trailer RV that supposedly has her husband in it. Which is this one so you can hear the noises that's going on there so you come up to this one here yeah hey uh what's going on in there never mind what's going on what you want Cletus, come on honey i'm coming sugar calm down i'm getting cold in my lady parts okay okay i got to go bye now that's gotta be that lady's husband maybe i should tell her and so now you go back and you go and talk to this woman saying that you found her husband. Hey. Did you find him? Come with me. I might have an idea of where your husband is. You see that trailer over there? Yes. He's all yours. Oh, he's gonna get it now. After that, you should get the achievement called No Cheating. After she comes to the trailer, actually. Yep, so give it a bit. And once she gets in there... What the hell are you doing? Martha! No! Well, 
Yep. And then you should get the achievement called No Cheating Pop Up. Now it's time for the next achievement called You Started It. Now what it has to be is that this little play area right here, the swing. What it has to do is that we have to get on the swing exactly the same time on both sides. In three, two, one, now. What the hell are we doing? I don't know. You sat down first. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Did I? This is getting awkward. <laughs> Yeah, this, yeah, what? And oh. that should that should be giving you the achievement you started it. Okay, so for this achievement, this is specifically for Vincent and it's called Backseat Mechanic. So now what I got to do is that I got to talk to Leo's hey, wife. I could use your help. Can you get something for me? Hey, Alex. Leave me alone. You needed help with something? Oh, yeah. And essentially, I gotta do what she asks and help her fix the bike. So now... Should have gotten the achievement now. Yep. So you would have essentially gotten the achievement right there for fixing the motorcycle. Okay, everypony. Now this achievement is called Managed Anger. And this one is very, very specific on what you have to do to get this thing to work. Now the first thing is that Vincent will first have to lean the chair over. Push him back. And then I have to help. God damn it, Leo. Okay. We push him right here Start to talking. this part of the construction site. And then you, Leo has to go in a certain spot over here by this wallet and the door right here. And then you just hit X and just have him wait there for a moment. And you'll see what happens. I had enough of this. You're dead man, Ray. It's over for you. Take this. Oh! Let's get back to business. And you see that as just being pretty much a little thing in his head that you had to, that you just pretended like you pushed him over the edge, but you never did. And I guess you can see at the last part, you had to run at him and hit RT for you to actually kick him over the edge. And that's how you get that achievement called anger management. Managed anger. Yes. So for this achievement, it's called live a dream. And what we have to do is that Vincent has to be one sitting on this couch and you wait for a little bit. So the TV's hey Vincent, on come check it out. and you're playing as What's Vincent up? and you just sit what here for a while. The moon. Cool. You know, you just sit here for a while until the cutscene plays. There we go. So now the cutscene is playing. What's going on? Is this the moon? Very strange. So now you, as Vincent, will be dreaming as if you're on the moon. And this is when you get the live a dream achievement. You're on the moon. What the hell? I don't have time for this. Hey, 
Hey, Vincent, wake up. Hey. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Oh, I had this weird dream about the moon or something. What moon, man? Come on, let's see your wife. Yeah, all right. So after that, there's the achievement gotten right there. Okay, so while we're in this area here, we have to play a arcade machine, which is found right here. So we both have to press this at the same time. Ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Come on, let's play. I'll show and then you sure. should get the achievement right here as soon as you do that. It's essentially Pong. Oh, yeah. Ah, no. Hell yeah. Oh, for the love of. That's bullshit. What? Hell yeah! Oh, for the love of... Oh, why? I told you, man. I'm the fucking boss of this shit. Congratulations. And that's Thank technically you. the achievement right there. Okay, everybody. Next is the man, Mayday. This is the next achievement. And what we have to do is that Leo himself has to get into this helicopter right here. That's right outside of the hangar to the plane. So what we have to do is that you have to go right here, get in. God, I love this shit. And he's going to be messing around with the controls. What does this button do? Oh. And that's how you get the, what is it, the last achievement called Mayday. Yep, so that was all 14 achievements, everybody. Yes. Hopefully this guide was helpful to you guys. Yeah, I hope so too, because we tried our hardest to go through every achievement that we have on here. Exactly, so if you guys are playing this game and you guys want to get all the achievements throughout your entire playthrough all at once, this is how to do it. Yep. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and hopefully you will. we will see you guys in the next video. This is Mechanical Nightmare Fox, M&F, signing out. Bye. Bye.